think you're going to like what she has to show you. It's really deep, really touching. Please welcome Miss Sharon. Hello, everybody. I have a story to tell you. I have a very sad story to tell you. My name is Sharon Mary Ivanhoe McPhee. And you know, I'm 72 years old in August. And I can't believe I'm standing here talking to you people about abortion. Something that I had to hide all my life. I had to talk about it because it's 2022 and there shouldn't be a reason that we should talk about abortions. So I'm gonna tell you my story. Imagine. Imagine somebody going back as a time traveler back in the 1950s. That's where I wanna take you. That's where I want you to feel. I want you to feel it because that's where I was. This is me, a black hat, blind in one eye, deaf, disoriented a second, so I stopped a gentleman for quick directions in time. I'm a 70-year-old time traveler who knew the right person at the right time that granted me my recurring 2020 vision to manipulate reality as I choose fit to find the truth that I am Chicago's 1950s Bonnie and Clyde's daughter. I was charged a hefty price to go back in time, and I found myself zapped in Chicago's portal in Union Station where I had my answers. There I landed in this depot before. I followed my mother Mary, who was at the same moment, you can see her walking through the doors, carrying her Spanish guitar, and there's a young man walking, and they brushed her arms in the train station, and their eyes just glanced. It was love at first sight. She was rushing to perform and singing English and Croatian for the troops that returned from World War II. I watched her work weekends as a soda jerk to save enough money to buy a cowboy boots and a cowboy outfit. Getting ready to compete. She won four times at the Morris B. Sachs Amateur Hour broadcasted on television and radio. I listened to her records that she created. I sat in the front stage when Mary was the opening act for her idols. I, she sang, I wanna be a cowboy sweetheart. And she introduced Roy Rogers and Dale Evans and got their autographs. So all her 1950s diaries were all true. There was no Roy, room for rumors. And then it happened. The long wooden pews in the Union Station is where my mother told Art she was pregnant with me. I heard him say, never fear! I'll go get the cash and we'll live happily ever after. I was on my mission to investigate. Through the busy crowd, I watched my father arrive with his girlfriend Rose, seen on the right side, scurrying through the crowd. Art to Rose, wait for him, he'll be right back. I followed Art. My 23-year-old father got his gun and shoved it in the face of a woman teller first day on her job, robbing $1,083, big stakes in those days, about $30,000. He went and got two tickets to New York and fled with his girlfriend. The FBI was waiting when he returned back to O'Hare. Federal judge sent Art to three years in prison. Mother found out when she heard it on the news. Uh, she saved all 69 love letters from prison, tucked in a shoebox with ribbons. I understand the truth now. Mother never stopped loving him. And then there was the abortion. She was going to Misericordia home for unwed mothers where she had to wash floors, scrub windows, and that was her health care. If you didn't have a man, if you weren't married, that's where you went. Catholic Charities picked you up, and that's where I was going to be given up for adoption. Well, my grandfather decided that he wasn't going to just, he wasn't going to let his grand, first granddaughter be taken away. So instead of being a, adopted to a man and woman, my grandfather said, he stole me under his coat and ran out. Well, my mother 
got her pregnant again. And she went to Zucoria, and that's where she learned to buy abortions. So she tried everything. She shoved things up her. When they told her she wasn't worth to have a, a baby because she wasn't married. And she drank poisons. And my sister came out mentally challenged. And then my mother got a job. She gave herself an abortion and it didn't work. My sister is 60 years old today. So she got a job as a long distance telephone operator and she stopped listening on the phone calls where abortions were given and done illegally. So her girlfriend got pregnant and she didn't want the same thing to happen to her girlfriend so she went to the call of the doctors and she begged the doctors, please help my friend get an abortion because I don't want it to happen again. And he did. And he took her to the hospital and he gave her an abortion and I was there. I was 10 years old by then. And I held their hand and I helped give abortions. I boiled the pot with the water and I used all the instruments in the 1950s and I helped my mother give abortions. And I hid their suitcase and then somebody snitched. Yes, my mother had to run away and I wrote about it today because you know what? In 2022, I shouldn't be writing about abortions. I should be writing about the farm my mother had and all the things that we had and all the good life. But she died June 24th, 1998, the same day Roe versus Bay died. And you know how that affected me yesterday? All I did was cry all day until they called me to talk today. I hid that abortion suitcase all my life, but I have it. I have it. Do we have to go back to abortion instruments that were in 1950? I held their hand. I know where their stories were. I was there. I've been writing about it. My, my life is all about abortions. I hid that abortion suitcase. They never found it. There's no proof that it exists today, except the story that I'm telling you. This is 2022. And what happened to our abortions? What happened to our life, ladies? You think I'm gonna hold her hand again and do another abortion again? No, I don't. Join me in telling the Supreme Court that we won't take it. We won't do this. No more other abortions in the alleys. No more death. Because I've seen it all. Thank you. Let's give her a big round of applause. If anyone would like to join me and take a picture with the handmaid's costume, at the end we will be over there. I have two costumes for you to use and take your picture so you can show everybody on Facebook and TikTok wherever.